Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna share with you a way to really easily block free emails inside of a Webflow form. So what we're doing here is if someone does not have a business email, so if it is not at their domain, we're gonna block their email from being able to submit. This is something we use a lot with B2B clients who don't want things like white papers to be accessed by people who are not at companies and they can't trace where they actually work. So let's quickly jump into the example and I'll show you exactly how this works. So when I come into this form field here and I put in my email address, you can see I put steven at gmail.com. Now when we submit, what's gonna happen is it's gonna say, please enter a business email. Now this is happening because we have a script of code that is validating if this is a business email address or not. So let's jump over to Webflow and I'll show you exactly how to set this up. Luckily it is nice and easy. So first of all, what we need is obviously a form input. With this form input, we need an email field and in this email, what we need to do is we set the ID as work dash email. So this is the way that this validation code is gonna find what it is that it needs to validate. Now, the second thing that we're gonna need to do in here is go to our submit button. So with this submit button, what we need to do is add a custom attribute and that custom attribute is gonna be data dash submit dash BTN. So what we're doing here is defining a way to start this validation process. So when this button is actually clicked, when this button is submitted, that is when we start the validation process and decide is this email good or is it bad? So when this button is clicked, that's when the code is going to run. If the code decides that it is invalid, then what will happen is it will appear with that message. And if it validates the email is in the input, then it's gonna allow it to be submitted. So the final thing we're gonna to wanna to do here before we actually add the code to the page is go over to the email input. And on this, what we wanna do is go over and add an extra combo class. And with this combo class, we're gonna add error. Now this is what happens when it is in an error state. So what we're gonna do if the form is not validated, if it is a personal email and not a business email, is that we're gonna add this extra class to the input field and it's gonna change the styling. So you can see here with the error class, we're adding this slightly reddish orange border around the outside. So what you wanna do at this stage is style this however you want to style it to look when you're in the error state. And then we could just remove that for now because that's gonna stay inside a Webflow and that extra class is gonna be added when we're actually in the error state. Now the next thing we're gonna to wanna to do here is go over to the live example and we're gonna to wanna to copy this script. Now this script is nice and simple. Essentially what we're doing is we're setting up a variable. This variable is called invalid domains and inside of here is a bunch of strings. So these are just different types of invalid domains. So if you wanna block a competitor from being able to submit an email address on here, you could also add that in in the exact same format. So if we wanted to block Apple from submitting on our site, what we could do is we could add apple.com as another line inside of here. And that would block them from being able to submit the form if they had an apple.com email address. Now the final piece of this is just going through and doing the validation once the button is submitted. So you can see here, what's gonna happen is we're gonna add this placeholder if it is not correct and if it will not allow it to submit. And this is gonna change the placeholder text to be please enter a business email. So what I'm gonna do is go over and copy this code and then I'm gonna go into our example and then go to the page settings and add the code to the before body tag. So you could just add this down at the bottom of your before body tag. If I wanted to add an extra competitor or a different type of email address that we wanted to block on the site, all I have to do is copy this line, making sure we're actually including the comma. I wanna hit enter to make it a new line, making sure it's nice and clean and easy to read. And then I can come into here and anything between these quotation marks, this is gonna validate that specific domain. Now, ideally you don't have too many domains in here, but it's ideal to just add a couple in here if you need to block a specific email address. Once you set up everything inside of here, you can also change the placeholder text if you want to. So you can change this from please enter a business email to whatever you want. Once you're happy with this, hit save and then hit publish. And then everything should be working perfectly. And each time this form is submitted, it will be validating those emails and deciding if it should be submitted or if it should prompt them to input a business email address. As always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.